Hi guys, today's recipe is chicken masala dry fry. This goes best with pilau or jeera rice or ghee rice. I've already shared the recipe on Instagram, but for detailed recipe, please keep watching. Here I've taken some oil to which I'm going to add two sliced onions. After you saute them for a minute or two, add one bay leaf and one small piece of cinnamon stick. Saute until the onions turn slightly goldenish and then you drop one and a half tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. Saute until the raw smell of ginger garlic paste goes. Then we're going to drop 2 tablespoons of tomato paste. This is the store bought one but you can also use about quarter cup of tomato puree or a whole tomato finely chopped. This will bring out a good color as you see. You'll saute it for a while and then you'll add 2 tablespoons of chili powder and 1 teaspoon of haldi powder. Saute until uh, the masalas are fried well and it starts leaving oil. Here I'm adding some garam masala. If you don't have it and you don't like it, you can skip it. I've used about one tablespoon. After you saute the masala as well, drop in the chicken. This is about 800 grams of chicken. I'm going to fry the chicken well with the masalas as in coat them nicely. And then I'm going to put some salt and then I'm going to fry them nicely again and then put the lid on and let it cook for a minute or two. Now to give a slight South Indian touch, I added some curry leaves. You don't need to do it, but this just brings out very good flavor. Saute it once again with the little water that has come out of chicken now with that. And then you put the lid back on and let it cook for three to four minutes. Once you take out the lid after three, four minutes, you'll realize that the chicken has left enough water. Now this entire dish will be cooked in its own stock. We are not going to use any additional water here. Okay, keep stirring and frying the chicken so that the gravy thickens and it starts coating the masalas to the chicken pieces. That's why it's called dry fry. This recipe is going to be dry. Please don't leave it gravy because there's no flavor that way. Okay, your chicken should be more flavorful. When you bite into the piece, it should be more flavorful. So let the chicken gravy thicken. Okay, I'm going to fry it furthermore after adding a lot of coriander. And I'm going to shut the lid for another minute. And then I'm going to fry it again as in just saute it once. And then that's it. This dish is complete. Make sure you check if your chicken is cooked or not. Make sure you check on the seasoning if you want to add more spice or salt. That is it. It is super super simple. I'm going to serve this chicken with some Goan Pulao. The recipe for Goan Pulao is already up on my channel. Please click on the i button up. And that's it. Try it and let me know what you think. Subscribe to my channel, like, share, comment. Follow me on Instagram and bye.